Hi, this is Tony with ProSonic Studios. In this video, I'll show you how to change the sound of the instrument using the MIDI out functionality. We can change the sound by sending the MIDI information to a sound generator or sampler. So, for example, I have Propeller Head's Reason here, and when I press play, you'll notice that MIDI is coming out of ProSonic Sessions and into Reason. I have it hooked up to the electric guitar, but you can hook it up to any instrument you want, like flutes. Or maybe a synth. or piano. I like piano when first learning a part because it's clear and easy to hear each note. I highly recommend you use MIDI out as it'll significantly increase the performance of prosonic sessions and the instrument will sound much better than the sounds that come built into the application. Like most samplers, Reason doesn't come with internal MIDI ports that we can plug into like this so we'll need to download a free application called Loop B. You can download Loop B at the link below. Loop B1 is free, but I purchased Loop B30. It's reasonably priced, and it's a powerful little program that'll give you a lot of flexibility in your music workstation. Once you've installed Loop B, you can open it and see that it has a couple of ports ready to go. If you want more ports, you can set them here, but I only need two at the moment. Now you can set your music software to receive MIDI data on one of Loop B's internal MIDI ports. Here in Reason, I've set Bus B to receive MIDI input from the first port. Then hook up your instrument to that bus. Now we can go to ProSonic Sessions and change the MIDI output port from Web MIDI, the built-in sound generator, to the same internal MIDI port that you set in the sampler. You may also need to transpose the output depending on the instrument you choose. Mine requires output to be one octave higher. Well that's all for this video. In the next video I'll explain the chord controls.